Hello again, it's Richard Tace, Mr. Ricardo at Turnpike by Maya, nice restaurants between Rochdale and Halifax. The wonderful chef Cameron is going to be cooking a lamb rogan josh. Yeah. yeah, so he's got the uh, pan on nice and hot. I'm going to add some oil in it. Some oil? Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, about okay. three, three tablespoons. Yeah. Half a teaspoon of yeah. paste of garlic and ginger. Yep. Yeah. Half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some tomato puree. Tomato puree. Which has been made with the fresh tomatoes. Right, okay. And cooked. So it's cooked, fresh tomatoes, blended and mixed with water. Yep. And you're adding that at that point to, to stop the garlic burning, I presume. Yes. Um, and I'm going to add the spices now. Yes, this spices. Is our own mix powder. Yep. So about a teaspoon of mixed powder. Yeah. A little bit of touch of. Two thirds of a teaspoon of red, red chili powder. Yeah. And then, then some garam masala. That's about three quarters of a teaspoon of and garam masala. Salt in it. So it's homemade garam masala, isn't it? You make this yes, yourself. We all this mix and this mm -hmm. has been made freshly in our restaurant. Yes. We don't use the one which are been in the packets or no no. Okay, no, no, so no. you grind the coriander yeah, and cumin. We have got some black pepper over here. Yep. Which we have grinded ourselves. Yep. And that's how it's been done here. Wonderful. When it's done, I'm gonna mix the spices. On a low heat. Okay. After okay. this, what was it? It's a lamb rogan josh. Yes. Okay. This is freshly made lamb. Okay. So after the spices have added, Chef's been cooked them off for about 30 seconds and he's adding some pre cooked lamb with the uh, juices. So you kind of boil the lamb uh, with spices and oil and I'm tomato use and the juice things. Of the lamb, which, is, which will give the taste. Okay. It's a con you can call it this is just like a lamb soup. So lovely, yeah, lovely lamb stock okay. going in. Once this has been done, these are the peppers and onions, okay. which we have made for the flavor of Rogan Josh. Yes. So I'm going to add a couple of these in this. You right. can see the oil underneath, which is Rogan. Yes. Rogan means an oil. So this will give a flavor of Rogan Josh in this dish. So I'm going to use these peppers and onions. Okay. Here we go. That is more than enough. Back to the pan, and here we are. Once it's been warmed up, then I'm gonna add the gravy in it. Yeah. I'm gonna sprinkle some fenugreek, some methi. Yeah. Here we are. Mhm. Mm so, would you use those? Rogan Josh onions and peppers in any other curry? No, 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 because they have been flavoured. Because, you know, uh, peppers have got a very, very strong flavour. Yes. And the smell. Mm -hmm. So you can't use it. In whichever you're going to use it, it will give you a different taste. So this, particularly for the Rogan Josh, we have used the spices to produce the Rogan sauce. Okay? Right. See, the okay. so oil is coming up once these have been cooked. I'm going to add some curry sauce in it. So in with the base gravy. Yeah. There we are, please. And we go. If you want to know more about the base gravy and mixed powder yeah. uh, of my recipes, you can find them in uh, on my website. And if you look at the video description below, uh, there are some links where you'll find useful information. What we are telling you is how it's been prepared in the restaurants. Because it's a commercial work, we have to bring up, we have to make the gravy. Yes. It's and been done everywhere in the restaurant. Yeah. Gravy has been produced for our country, for our mm -hmm. people. Yes. Yeah. Because they love the most. Yes. That's the reason. Yes. And because it's a commercial work, it has to be fast. Yes. That's the reason they have find out how to produce the food which can come out from the burner to the table in between 10, 15 to 20 minutes. Yes. That's the reason. It's been created. Uh, 
Uh, you been, can see it's getting dry now. Yeah, it's been cooking. The oil is for, coming up. Yeah, they're all separating there. Uh, it it's getting drier. Done, it should have been done in a lesser time. Yep. But I've kept it on a low heat today. Yep. Just to give you how it comes out in a shape. Yes. Uh, here we go. Look at this. That looks amazing. I mean, the, yeah, the way the, uh, the oil separates. Yeah, you can see the, the frond on the side of the pan. Lovely. I should have used non-stick pans, but I, I, I prefer to show you which pans I've been using in the restaurant. Do you prefer non-stick yourself? Yeah, because no, non-stick it shows a little bit presentable. Oh it right, yes. More stick on the top. I, I got a little worried there uh, because yeah. the results are yeah, much yes, much better. Yeah, but much the, better. Yeah, of course you're right. Well, but the food comes the same. Yes. You know, you should be aware of what you're doing and how you have to produce it. Yes. Simple. Absolutely. It, it's more presentable in the non-stick pan because yes. we are black in colour. Yes. And you don't see any mess around the corners. <laughs> I think this is a joy to behold looking at. Yeah. Here we go. So we're going to dish up and enjoy. Yeah. Okay, let's give this Lamrug and Josh a try. It looks absolutely fantastic. You can see that oil on the side. Beautiful. I'm going to try the sauce first. That's so good. The freshly prepared garam masala that the chef makes from scratch, I think really makes a difference for this dish. Now for a bit of the lamb. It looks nice and tender. That's so good. I'm so tender I've got lots of lovely flavour from the sauce well that's a truly amazing curry this is Richard Sace I'm at Turnpike by Maya an Indian restaurant halfway between Rochdale and Halifax and I recommend you come here the chef Sheikh Cameron has very kindly cooked this dish for us and allowed us to film him I'd like to thank him very much and thank you for all the staff at Turnpike by Maya see you soon